3D printing technology is already changing the way we produce objects, from tools and toys to clothing and even body parts. It is a technology that lets you take a digital file and turn it into physical product. The first step in 3D printing is to create a blueprint of the object you want to print. You can use modeling software or you can visit websites to find objects other users have 3D model. Once you have the finished design, it's time to send it to the printer. When printer receives the data, it starts giving your design an actual physical shape. 3D printing is part of a process known as additive manufacturing where an object is created by adding material layer by layer. With this wonderful technology, designers and manufacturers are creating almost anything that can be imagined. Recently giant 3D printers in China printed 10 houses in just one day, and at a cost of less than general estimated budget per house proving how cost and time effective 3D printing can be. Statistics show the growth of 3D printing market in emerging economies. The India 3D printer market is expected to cross $79 million by 2021, with automotive applications accounting for the biggest chunk of business. Educational and medical applications are also expected to witness good growth. Other niche applications include arts and crafts, interior decoration, fashion accessories, footwear designs, jewelry designs, animation and gaming, customized footwear designs, furniture and modeling. It is an amazing new technology where you can take a 3D digital file and with a click of the button, use that file to create an actual physical 3D product. In the medical world, doctors are testing biological materials for generative medicine. By using patient cells, doctors can 3D print small body parts like ears, noses and fingers. 3D printing have a profound impact on all of this, and in the future, they're going to be 3D printings that allow to actually create three-dimensional structures out of living cells. It'll be possible to build very complex structures like blood vessels or skin tissue. Some are even testing 3D printed organs for transplants. In time, healing wounds by biological 3D printing directly onto the body may also become a possibility. Right now scientists are working on 3D printers that will actually allow you to print food. In Japan, there is a company that is taking sonogram data, so they scan a pregnant woman's belly and they are able to actually 3D print a figure of her torso. So, instead of having a black and white picture, she can get a real model of how her child is going to look like. Researchers are using 3D printed that can print concrete to make replacement to the part of building or even building homes, as seen in China. As 3D printing is advancing rapidly, making its way to consumers, and reshaping manufacturing in the 21st century, it is required to prepare our kids at schools with qualities and skills that will allow them to take the global challenges with creativity and confidence. India is a country having the highest working age population, but at the same time there is a lack of skilled workforce. At this juncture, it becomes the responsibility of the educational institutions to train and produce skilled workforce. Skyrim Innovation has designed a program with specialization in 3D printing to train and produce skilled workforce with a mutual benefit intention, where the students are trained as per requirements of the industry, thus helping them procure jobs that would give them ultimate working satisfaction.
there is an added advantage to the student to be able to grow as a technically skilled entrepreneur. Placing a focus on making 3D printing accessible to every student, regardless of background will result in a radical shift in the innovation cycle of the country. Over the past years, 3D printing has entered the mainstream, as one of the leading 3D printing company opens factory of the future and many global leaders have highlighted the potentials of 3D printing in global economic growth. Many multinational companies have been including 3D printing support in their products and services. Even NASA is working on 3D printing research to create required accessories at its space stations. Since the late 1980s, 3D printing has been used for rapid prototyping. Most recently, we have seen start of adoption curve who have transformation of traditional production to direct digital manufacturing and personal fabrication. In a decade or so, all of these are likely to be mainstream activities, but there shall be possibilities for earlier adopter to achieve some significant, quick win. Skyrim Innovation a prize education, reprice innovation.